Yeah, it's gotta be something with my plugins. Let's just, uh, let me just put on what I was thinking about playing next. Consider this a little, uh, bonus. Cause I, I was totally not expect, I was totally expecting finishing up Scribblenauts to be short. But, I thought we would go in with this. Well, why is it not showing up for you guys? Oh, there we go. Pep, you want to help recycle? Hmm. What a good dog. Wow. Oh, this is so nostalgic. There we go. Putt-Putt and Pep's dog on a stick. Been a while since we did some Putt-Putt stuff, so I figured... Oh yeah, don't worry. Um, let me... Yeah, I'm gonna swap... Uh, swap our category right now. Putt-Putt and... Pep. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt. Oh. Welcome to Dog on a Stick. Are you ready to play a game? Press this button to start at the beginning. Press this button to continue an old game. You can even make him play your own levels. Press this button to build new levels. Press yes, this Pup button Pup. to change your levels. I was like Press in the middle of something. Press this button to play your customized levels. Have fun. Thank you. Okay, let me get back to editing here. Here we go. Yeah, no, this isn't- this isn't one of the junior adventures. This is a junior arcade game, which not a lot of people know that Humongous Entertainment did also make some, like, arcade games based off of their- their adventure properties, and this is one of them. I think I owned both of the- oh, is that Fatty Bear? Um, I owned both of the Putt-Putt ones when I was a kid, and I owned one Freddy Fish one. Which is weird because it's the only Freddy Fish game I owned. So... So this one, I remember it being like Qbert. Also, no orange here, so... Let's just go here. So yeah, this this plays like Qbert, I remember. I did a little testing before. Get as many bones as you can, and then go to the checkered flag! So yeah, here we are. I remember playing this uh, as a kid, and I was like, this isn't really, like, the best, but it entertained me. It's loading fast. Oh yeah, you can just... You can just go off the edge. Like, here? That was always so get those bones. That was always my biggest struggle as a child is that I would just jump off the edge all the time. Also only 5 points per bone. We don't get like a bonus for collecting them all. I'll just go to completion. Also how's volume going? It's this it's a DOS game, so Look, it's loud. A Look a prize. Says extra points. Oh, I remember that sound effect. That sound effect is from um. Let's uh let's explore the jungle. Oh, ice cream. Oh, and a like a blue dog bone. I gotta try and get that life back from jumping off the edge. That was in the Anteater Feeder game. Which... Now that I'm thinking about Anteater Feeder, it has a Doom reference in it. Look out for the rascally critters! Oh, I remember that line. Rascally critters. Yeah, we gotta avoid them. These guys always were a pain to me. 
They have animations when they get you though. Like how like how's that bad? He gave me a hug. Don't jump off the edge. <laughs> also love this helicopter extension that uh Putt Putt has. Okay. Look before you leap, Pat! Oh, I remember that blue disc. I, w I always wondered what this was. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, it lets me jump two. But this would always be a pain in the ass for me because I would always go for completion in this game. When I was young, but now I'm a changed adult. Ice cream! Oh, I thought he was just talking about the cherry and then I saw the vanilla. But yeah, it just, it's like Cuber, and all of these humongous, uh, all these humongous arcade games, they had their own level editor, which is crazy to think about. Ice cream. Okay, can I, can I skip the, the introduction? Ooh, hot cocoa. That make me faster? I think that made me faster. It looked like the Coco from... Look out for the rascally critters! That looked like the Coco from Saves the Zoo. Oh, we can... Yeah, cheat there. Oh great, now we have to wait for this to wear off. Oh, there we go. I thought that the, the like, rust and s grime on the trash can determined if the... Look before you leave, Pat! Ooh, there's a hamburger up there. Um, if the rascally critter spawned on it or not, but no, it just looks like it's a set piece. Okay. Oh, woo. Cutting it close there, cutting it close there, fatty bear. Hey, that rhymed. Hop to it, oh, here we go. New area. Now we're in the Wild West. Even the jumping sound effect is doubled up. That's great. But yeah, there's a bunch of different environments. I don't remember. I don't remember them. I I only remember the junkyard. There was like a actually no. There was like a packing facility, I think. Like a mail like a mail room. Also we got a new rascally critter here. What do you do to Pep? I got, I got cat germs. Bring hot water, get some disinfectant. There we go. Sadly, I can't go to the exit immediately. Alright. Hop around and get all the bones. All the bones on this side. Cause I don't think we get anything for loads of loads of completion. That green stuff looks sticky. Oh yes, the sticky slime. I always used to think this stuff was flubber. Yeah, it, it sticks you in place and it gives leaves you open for the rascally critter. But the rascally critter can get stuck in it too. And yeah, we've heard we've heard that sound plenty of times in in our putt putt escapades. Ding, 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 ding. Look before you leap, Pat. Oh, milk bone. Do you just like vaguely see the milk written on the 
Oh. Oh. That rascally critter just... Left. I hate it when the critter is rascally. I, I guess let's take this moment and just gather up all of our... Gather up the bones. I'll humor it, because the creature died. I didn't Look particularly like this game too much. It was like alright in my book. I preferred I preferred the Putt Putt Adventures. Like most other um Um Humongous Entertainment fans. Oh wait, what's this? Oh! Bonus level? Oh I gotta do the bonus level. Bonus! Oh. Kaiju puppy. 50 extra points. 100 extra points. Nice, 150. Okay. Now, I wonder if that area is... Part of the like a, just a tile set I'm or free. reserved just for the the bonuses. Oh, rascally critter! Uh oh, no! Yeah, see that's how they can be tricky. Look out for the rascally critters! <laughs> Actually, I'll take the safe route and go down. They don't seem to really go for you. They're, they just hop around and do what they want. Also, is it looking like I get a, an extra life every a thousand points? That's pretty generous. Look before you leave, pet. Oh, wait. I remember what that does. I think that lets me actually beat the rascally critters. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, kill him. You deserve death. Oh, there's a shell here. Let's go get that candy. Still got the... The humongous entertainment charm, though. Feel, like, real comfy. The music's nice. Alright. I was gonna say, do those floating platforms always mean there's a bonus? But there's a lot of them here. So I'm guessing no. There we go. And away we go. Got some good points there. There might be 100 levels, if I would take a guess. These aren't too... These aren't too tricky yet. Yes, yeah, stuff like this. I, I would make a level that worked like that. No! What? I thought I still had my super jump. Now watch your step. Like, keep jumping in but doing those double jumps. Yeah, here, refresh it just so I don't die. Send Pep falling to the bottom of the Grand Canyon or something. Don't jump off the edge. Oh, yeah, look at this. This would be hard if there was a rascally critter, but there is not. Let's get the steak. Ow! Oh, I remember that sound effect.
The time bonus seems to be more beneficial than going around and collecting all the bones. All right, what's our next tile set? That oil sure looks slippery. <laughs> ah, the pier. Okay. Uh, concerning to find oil near a near a, n near a pier, but that works. Okay, oil makes us slip down. Hep, be careful out there. <laughs> it just retextured like goo. Also, our rascally critters here are beach balls. Oh dear! Oh! Good luck, Pep! <laughs> it's getting trickier now. We hit the difficulty curve. Okay. Okay, there we go. Got a got a maneuver. Oh, look at him, he's got a... So he said, look a prize. I think I used to think he said, look some fries. When I was younger. Oh, oh. Okay, so it can shoot me upwards, too. Good to know. And I'm guessing they can be chained together. Only one beach ball can be on screen. Ho! Ho! No! 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 That exact, that exact gotcha. shit happened to me as a kid. Good luck, Pep. I had my mouse in the wrong spot. Just sends me over the edge. You gotta keep your ma keep your mouse moving here. Action gameplay. Hop to it, Pep. <laughs> but this whole thing about having like a custom level maker, it it it's so weird, cause there were, I don't feel like there would be a way to. You know, share your levels with people, unless you look at the files. Like, would that be a thing? Take it over to your friend's now house on a floppy that? disk. And share your... Peps. Dog on a stick levels. Okay. This is a very small area. Okay, there we go. Loop him. Pep, be careful out there. Oh, the cat doesn't get a special... A special look for the beach. I was also gonna say, I think that the... I was gonna say that the... The cat and the bear jump at different... Speeds or something, but... Doesn't look like it. Okay, those... The shell is 50 points. Which is a lot better. That's that's 10 bones. Alright, also, we're, we're over halfway there. Nice. Almost got all the way there. Screw that hamburger. Look out for the rascally critters. <laughs> yeah, I can't I can't skip any of Putt's dialogue. Oh dear. Carry me away. At least they look in the direction they're gonna jump. Susie, what makes them so rascally? They seem just fine. Ice cream! Ice cream! <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a power-up, yeah. 
makes you jump faster, but you can't adjust your s your like movement speed fast enough to react to it. Like I gotta move my mouse in a certain at a certain point, right? Okay, now we'll get down here. Okay. Look, a prize! <laughs> yeah, it, it... What is he saying there? It sounds like, look, a prize, but... There's a different inflection there. It's not very clear, Danny. It's also good to hear Danny's voice at, voice in Putt Putt again. All right, level thirty. Don't jump off the edge. Oh, this is the this is the last beach level. One of these gonna be a bonus. Oh my! It's a lot of beach ball. Oh, there is my bonus level. Cha-ching! All right, in the city again. Bonus level. Catch as many presents as you can. See if we can get him. Oh, are they unaffected by oil? Oh wow, I'm unaffected by oil when I when I get a present. I'm gonna get you. There we go. It just increases in intervals of 50. Okay. Oh. Come on. Yeah, it's getting away. <laughs> we put up a good chase. Oh, nope. It, it committed suicide. Wait. What do you mean? I got them all. Oh, trampolines. Oh, and penguin. Penguin straight out of Save the Zoo. Also, thank God no ice physics. Oh, he's dancing with us. Pep, you be careful out there. We gotta see what all the rascally critters do. Okay, what does what does a trampoline do? Oh, okay. So whatever angle I jump on it at gives me a jump. Okay. Yeah, I could do I I would imagine doing some fun stuff with that if I was a level designer. These levels are pretty well structured too. But, you know, I'm not going for complete for 100% cuz fuck that. Now is this permanent? Kill them all! It... Doesn't seem to be going away. So I guess, yeah, you, you turn into Super Dog. When you get that, and you just get to keep it. This looks tricky, Putt says. Oh dear. Oh! <laughs> they s he, 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 he slipped too. Don't jump off the edge. I saw him doing the flip. That's funny that they have different animations for that. Granted, they had him for the, the goo, so it makes sense. All right, 34. Good luck, Pep. I'm detecting a beach ball here. Maybe? Yeah. Arctic beach balls. Flawless victory. 
That was that was beautiful. You're doing really well, Pep. All right, give me my dog, I mean my super dog. Now we kill. It's kind of like Pac-Man in a in that sense. You know the. Oh wait, no, it doesn't. It doesn't ascend in points. It just gives me fifty. I was gonna say it's like Pac-Man because you're the ghosts give you more points the more you click them. Look, a prize. <laughs> Lemons. Well, that was an interesting sound. Not gonna risk it for that other one. Good luck, Pep. Rap. There we go. Also, you notice how when I'm doing the jump on the trampoline, my cursor goes forward another another space. That's just some how the game is programmed. It must give you an automatic... An automatic double jump. Which is kind of cool. Oh, I have to hit it from this angle. Oh! Get away from me, Senor Penguin. Yeah, see, that's cool level design. You can't cheese it unless you there's a like a power up I can get that gives me horizontal jumping. Ice cream. Ice cream. I'm gonna be so tired of these putt putt lines. Does that last forever too? Oh yeah, whenever a game automatically moves your mouse, that's the worst. This looks tricky. Like you lose like when a game locks in your mouse cursor and suddenly it's in a different position. I hate it when stuff does that. Uh Obstacle Odyssey 2 was doing that with the character select. Weirdly. It's not doing that here, it's just I'm seeing the cursor. Like, the, the little, like, blue arrow that's pointing where Pep will jump next Hot is moving. Good, oh, we're in the jungle now. Oh, and they got the same hat. Wow, we're already using it, reusing stuff. But they're making drum sounds. Yeah, no, it's not bad here. I'm just noting that... Oh! I can see how the game works. I'm looking into the matrix. You probably have to push that button. Oh, buttons? Okay, new mechanic. I like the fact that these have sound effects. Okay. So buttons to activate platforms. See, how unsatisfying is that? That you don't get to get more points in you combo? It's quite cute that the drums play at every jump, though. Hmm, where's the exit? Gotta push those buttons, Pep. Yeah, I am getting through this pretty fast. I just thought like I put on something something kind of easy since we we beat Super Scribble Knots. I mean, I'm not going for score. I just want to see the levels. I want to see the levels and the mechanics. Look 
out for the rascally critters! Which, we're seeing that. And I technically never beat this game as a kid, so... I can just flex on it, uh, flex on it that I beat it as an adult. It'd be funny if they gave these games, they shadow dropped workshop support for these, for these humongous arcade games. Don't jump off the edge! Um... Hello? What are you, a virus? Oh. Hop to it, pep. Oh yeah, this is on Steam. I got it in the Humongous Collection. So we got like sentient boogers. No. I thought they were a nose for a second, but I guess if they are boogers, that would make sense. I wonder what that glowing thing does. Oh, these are warp panels. How will these work? I want to get that life. Oh, it looks like it's random. And I just lost the life. Now watch your step. That's gonna be a pain in the ass. Let's get that orange. But yeah, it'd just be funny if they dropped workshop support so that you can get you could like download other people's levels. That would be that would be hilarious. Can I get the other way, please? Oh, is Putt Putt's stare when he leaves soulless? I'll have to- I'll have to look when I- I'll have to look when we're done with this level. Putt Putt kind of has a- a thousand mile stare. Is it a thousand mile or a thousand yard stare? You're doing really well, <gasps> oh my god, the frog on a pogo stick itself. Holy shit, that makes me think of Spy Kids 3D. God, what a shit movie. Hold on. Oh, you hop two platforms. Oh, wait, no, you can choose to. Oh, no! Pep, you be careful out there! Yeah, I'm trying not to think about Spy Kids 3. Spy Kids 3... Well, if I, can, if I can think about Spy Kids 3, I can talk about Spy Kids 3. Um... We're all in a group. Well, okay, we're, we're on agreement that the movie sucks. Yes. But... I'm not the only person who was scared out of their mind about it, right? Like, we- the- the CG in that movie is incredibly dated, everybody knows this, but... It, it's dated to the point where... It- It's actually horrifying, especially when you're watching it in 3D, in the shitty 3D. Hop to it, Pep! I mean, who wouldn't be scared of Sylvester Stallone four times? Oh my god, you're right. That would- that would be- that would- that would scare even the- even the most, um... Like, strong man to ever strong man. So... Am I seeing that... Depending on the angle you enter, it puts you where, or is it just random? No, it's just random. That's stupid. Oh! What? It's an on-off? What? Okay, that's kind of stupid. Alright, my time bonus is gone. Yeah, the random- the randomness seems to counter the- the- counter the timer. Okay, now I have to just hope that I don't go back? <sighs> yeah, 
You know what? Next time I hit the button, I'll 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 KMS. Cause that'll bring me back to the start and then I can just go right to the exit. What kind of design is that? Maybe it isn't? I was thinking that too. Wait, okay, hold on. Let's test this. Okay. Jump here. And then I go here. Okay, no, yeah, no, it totally is angle. Okay. I retract what I said. Never lose pep. I don't need that. This is Luigi mode. Look, a prize. Are you are you struggling even more with with the baby game? I never found that as a kid. I would have totally used that as a kid, but But I never I I never I guess I never found it. I don't know how, because I feel like it would only pop up if I'm doing bad. Is that because I, I lost the bonus? Is that seriously only come up because I lost the bonus? Because if so, that's kind of cruel. Alright, well, I want to see these goo boys in the goo. Oh, they're immune to the goo. I guess this is the tutorial level for them. Teaching you their mechanics, because they'll be used in the next world. Alright, what's 51? Careful on those moving parts. Here we go. I remember this world. I don't remember the... The bongos. Up. Oh. But I remember this. Maybe I skipped the here? Is there a skip function? Oh, so these moving platforms, so they're gonna be... make things complicated. I also know that we have a skunk here. But... Oh no! Skunk leaves behind clouds? We'll die to the skunk next level. I wanna... I want a better level for... That, you know, we can access. I don't need Junior Helper. Fuck off. Oh! Pig with a jetpack. Pig with a jetpack. Okay, so he can go in the negative space. Oh no. Oh no, I'm stuck here. Help me. That's it. Look out for the rascally critters. Okay. The the mechanics are starting to uh pile up. Okay. Uh Where's my out? Where's my out? There we go. Look at all this ice cream. I didn't even look at look at this. Ice cream sounds good. I might go get some ice cream after stream. Okay, get right here. Nice. Okay, that was a bit tricky. Careful on those moving parts. Okay. Should we die to a skunk here? I want them to fall. Also, wow, I'm just I'm just stuck here. I'm waiting for my my platform to come back to me. Oh, it it's going back and forth. We couldn't even see it. Pep, you be careful out there. 
So wait, does the what? Huh? Whoa! Don't jump off the edge. Whoa! Whoa! Skunk does act so unspeakable. They must be hidden. Yeah, no, I was gonna say that. I think the the cloud isn't toxic. It's just um. Oh yeah, no, it just makes him sick. The the cloud isn't isn't a, a hazard or like a lethal hazard. It's um it just covers up the space. Also, that's that skunk ate shit. Awesome. All right. Okay. All right, I can get over here now. And exit is mine. Bam, ba, bam. All right. Careful on those moving parts. The music here is really nice. Oh no. I'm coming, Pep. Now watch your step. We're almost out of lives. Wait, you're totally right. The exit button only appears when I die. Did they just not have enough faith? Wow, there goes that skunk again. Mm. I don't like this level. Yeah, it, you're right. It's just there. It, it, this takes my cursor, though. Oh, no, there we go. Doesn't take it for long. Losing at the Babby game, yeah. Babby games can be challenging. Mario Odyssey had darker side. Why is Pep jumping around all these dangerous areas with his newfound pogo stick? You're doing really well, Pep. I'm really not, Putt. I have one life left. Is there lore? There there sort of is lore. Gotcha. That's all for now. We'll oh. try this again later. Oh, well there's our game over. Game over. That's got to be a high score, though, right? Uh, just lets me go back in, though. Yeah, it looks like I just get to carry on. Resets my score. But, you know, who cares? This is like early days of vi of like video gaming for like babies and stuff. When you teach kids about your about um like video games, it's like you know points. Careful on those moving parts. And you know this is supposed to be a different experience from the adventure games where you know there are no points because you know it it advertises itself as it's a junior arcade. And I'm like okay yeah, but just. I just, like, don't care about grabbing points when I just want to see the levels and the mechanics, like, naturally. 
the Sierra Adventure games actually do have points. Really? What what do they add to anything? One example, one example of a um of an adventure game that I know has points. Fucking Indigo Prophecy. And I bet like David Cage added them in to have some some like thing to make his make his uh <laughs> dog shit game like appeal to more different people I haven't played any go prophecy I've, I've watched like a playthrough of it I, I don't like it I I never like the fact of a a game that punishes you for looking around. Oh, it acts as a completion tracker in the Sierra Adventure games. Huh. Careful on those I mean, parts. that's better... That's better than nothing, I suppose. I mean, the point system in... In Indigo Prophecy... Um... It lets you unlock bonus scenes. Which is something, but at the same time, it's a, an adventure game. It is, it's a narrative adventure game where you can get punished and killed for looking around. That's not how you make a video game. Like, if you want me to just explore around, just take away that risk. It's like how you can die in the original Alone in the Dark by reading a book. Yeah, exactly. He's not a good game designer, but he, his games sell well enough to make more. Heavy Rain is David Cage's best game. Um, that is me coming from watching a playthrough of... Watching a playthrough of Indigo Prophecy, watching a playthrough of, uh, Beyond Two Souls, and then actually playing Heavy Rain. Rain. Rain? Or Gormy, yes, exactly. Oh, what was Putt saying there? Pep, be careful out there. The... Another thing uh, just about David Cage is that, um... Oh, dear. Um... He seems to want to make no movies a lot more than games. Because another thing is that I watched a playthrough of Beyond Two Souls where the, the sole intention of the playthrough was to fail every single prompt and see where the story goes. But, in that situation, literally the story progresses and it will lock you into doing specific actions. You can go ahead and pick a level to start with. If I'm talking, you want to go to a lower level, click on the down button. Or if you want to go to one of the higher, harder levels, then click on the up button. But can I remember, you can only go up to the highest level you've played before. Oh, okay. I was just about to say, can I... Can I bypass levels? If you want to leave the screen, then just click on the stop button. Good luck. Fake trans trying to skip the f skip the putt scenes. Well, you can speedrunner skip the putt scenes. That oh. Sure looks slippery. We have mountain goats. And we're in a greenhouse now. Yeah, I don't know what the scale is either. Oh. Oh, that's a cute animation. Pep, be careful out there. Uh, but where was I? But like, David Cage just seems to want to make movies, but just doesn't? Good luck, Pep! 
Like, say what you will about Telltale games and, like, offering, like, blind... blind, uh, choice. The illusion of choice and all. Oh, woo! Wonderful escape. But at least you get more interesting dialogue from it. Oh, the flowers actually change color. I was gonna say the purple was kind of... Kind of grating. Oh, wow, really? Well, that's it. I'd rather play Mass Effect, yeah. I hear Mass Effect's really good on that front. Put me back in, Chief! There we go. Wait, I just did this level. I hear Mass Effect does stuff like that really well. Okay. Sorry. So, yeah. Look out for the rascally critters. There's one purple flower though. Okay, we just have to find the teleport that brings us to the exit. Which is gonna be harder than it seems. Puts me here. This is totally playing into how the angles determine where you go. Which is kind of creative. When paired with the oil slick. You're doing really well, Pep. Oh, accidentally hit the mic there. Let's get around these stupid frogs. Oh, shit. Good luck, Pep. But I, I do know that like David Cage's games do have an audience. And you know, props to you oh fuck, I forgot they can double jump. Look before you leave, Pep! So, are you fucking si Oh, okay. I was about to say, I thought I was gonna get cheaped there. Wow. He, he died for me. Um... So, uh, like, if you enjoy... And, like, let, let this be- let this be, like, known about, like, any game that I, like, rag on. We all have different opinions on games. If you find something enjoyable in a game that I don't, all to you. I- I love to hear- I love to hear opinions on that. But, I'm just saying that, like, I- I got my own- I got my own things, and, like, you don't have to adapt to- Like, uh, adapt? You don't have to adopt my viewpoint. Or, um... Oh, sweet. I wish I could tell what jump they were doing. Cause that was a- that was a slick, uh, save there. But, like, form your own opinion, and know- Know that, like, of course, watching the playthrough and playing a game are two two different things. You're doing really well, Pep! Wow, look at- Look at how lazy that door to the greenhouse is. I thought- I thought that those were- I was looking at the door. I thought that the two trunks of the trees were the- were the handle- the handbars. But no, it was just- Those are just the trees for, like, the door. Hop. 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 Yes, yeah, screw getting 100%. I'd probably make myself insane if I was 100%ing this. Oh, no, screw the, screw the bonus level. What makes it spawn? Look, a 
Uh-huh. Oh, wait, that's a one-up. I was like, is that a new power-up? But no, it, it was just blending in with... It was blending in with Pep's, um... Pep, be careful out there. Pep's face was blending in with the sunflower. Whew. Give me the extra life. We're almost there. We're almost there. 67? You probably have to push that button. They haven't really introduced a new mechanic though. The the only new thing they had were the goats. Also can the frogs only activate the the buttons because they're on pogo sticks, or can other rascally critters do it too? This looks tricky. <laughs> All right, we got boogers. Give me something of pop cap stuff. Uh, I guess I could see that. Ugh. Pep, you be careful out there. Popcap has a lot of a lot of like lesser known titles. Like um apparently there's this one when I was just looking at Popcap, when I like looked up the Popcap developer on Really? Really? Go get those. Oh, that sucks. When I was just looking at... You know how, like, on Steam, you can look up, Oh, this is what this developer has developed and stuff. Same thing for... Uh... You know, publisher and, and such. Um... Uh, I, I, I found, like, one of their games is just reskinned Pac-Man? Or something, like, the... Like, all the reviews are saying is like, oh, this is just Pac-Man. It's like Pop-Cap Pac-Man. Pop-Cap-Man. Yeah, just Qbert. I mean, you could- it's doing a lot of interesting stuff. I- I never got far in Qbert. I was never good at Qbert. <laughs> I don't know if Cuber does really neat stuff like this. I'm trying to think what are the other ones. The the Freddy Fish humongous arcade game I had was like a maze game. I forgot what it was exactly like, but you were, like, controlling Luther and going through... going through and collecting stuff. It was actually really cool. I remember messing around a lot in the level creator for that. That game specifically. Levels in this can be a bit of visual noise. Yeah, Humongous Entertainment loves to cram in a bunch of, uh... Uh... Hey, a trampoline. Graphics. Also, uh, where are we now? Oh, wait, these are tires! This is a tie back to Putt-Putt. How he has- how he has white tires. Yeah, I thought they were plates for a second too, like pizza pizza trays. Pep, be careful out there. Oh, that a porcupine? It looks like banjo. Okay, no, anything can jump on them and activate them. All right, porcupine death. Okay, no, it's not a porcupine because if. Hop to it, Pep! 
Honestly, if Papa didn't keep talking, I'd forget this is related. Yeah, kinda. A, a lot of people forget about forget about Pep. Oh shit! I did it again. Well, that's our that's our last life. That's all for now. We'll try this again later. No, we try again right now. I'm an adult. I can have unlimited computer time. Look out for the rascally critters! Why does clicking that make me go back in? Huh? I think it was me clicking on putt putt. Oh, maybe. Oh. Oh, shit. I wish I had a super jump here. Don't jump off the edge. Don't jump. You got so much to live for. Oh, the... This guy... This guy's a bastard because he... He doesn't for... He doesn't foreshadow where he's jumping. Now watch your step. That's problematic. That's insanely problematic. And he, he's fast, too. I will conquer you, Wombat. Okay, we, we like, encountered mid-flight. Okay, wow, we died here a second time. The difficulty is, is ramping up, as it were. And we still have... What, like... Like, 28 more levels to do? Oh! Can you please jump on that again, sir? Really? Fucking really? Okay. Just gotta avoid the goat. No! Oh! Damn it. Pep, you be careful out there. Damn, that was that was so close. <laughs> He's so quick. Look out for the rascally critters. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Damn it. Screw that thing. Okay, okay, I can skip. We can jump ahead. I can skip the death animation. Okay, I can do I can do the normal skip. I think we've heard all the dialogue. So yeah, no, no, uh, what the fuck was that? Okay, hedgehog thing, hedgehog thing is the worst enemy so far. Like, it would be one thing to have him not choreograph where he's jumping. But he also appears to be even faster than the normal enemy. Okay, there we go. Get me the hell out of here. Don't jump off the edge. The less I have to see of that thing, the better. I, it's not a porcupine. What? What do you think? What do you think it is? Like a groundhog? A small bear? An even smaller bear?
something that can Ice cream. like a wombat Thing. This thing. I want to know what this thing is so I can hate it. Like, IRL. I'm just kidding, I wouldn't do that, but. <laughs> that moving moves way too fast! Don't jump off the edge! Are we gonna get to see the goat react to Sticky? I'm, of course, going through the sticky because... Okay, no, goat is immune to sticky. What makes the goat different from the slime, then? Is it faster than the slime? That oil sure looks slippery. <laughs> that oil sure looks slip. Ow. I thought I could, um... Look out for the rascally... I thought I could, like, bypass him. Oh! Fuck. It's funny seeing him pop right into position. It's like that in the, uh, adventures. Okay. Can you stop camping? Can you stop camping, please? No! I... I noticed he was jumping that way and it was too late. No course correction. <laughs> and there we go. Screw getting super pep. The point bonus isn't even worth it. I'm talking about the enemy or the goo. Easiest level. Look out for the rascally critters. Ugh, great. How am I gonna get past him now? Oh, nice. No, not nice. Nice. I thought he was gonna jump down there and get me. I really did. Looks like a big W. Oh, beach balls. It's been a while. Wow, they just gave that one to me. Why don't they use the coffee more? Or the hot chocolate? Hey. It's a fine power-up. Ooh. Beautiful. That was pretty good. All right, 81. What's this theme? Oh! Whoa, this is getting harder. Well, that's new. Just got to map it out. We are in Greece now. Oh, that was a one up. No, if I jump there, that's death. Nice. Pep, you're doing great. 
Thank you, Pud. Thank you, Master. Just bypass that. It's not worth it for one bone. Seriously, they really wanted kids to hey, to go further. Also, look at the look at the they give these guys togas. That's great. I'm wondering if the if those other worlds that didn't have those guys organically. Um, ha if there's, um, if they have, d like, different out costumes there. Probably not. But that would be really cool if they did. Okay. Where is my... Shit. Where's it? You be careful out there. Where's the super power super power up when you need it? Like this isn't a level where I would actually go out of my way for it. Also these these buttons There's a button that activates the switch and another that gets rid of it. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Woo! Okay. Jump that way, bear. No! Also appreciated that they freeze for a moment. Kids can get their bearings! That wasn't a joke. That wasn't a pun, I promise. What? Like, what kind of... What kind of waiting game do you expect me to play here? I mean, I know, I know you want me to play, like, an exact one, but... I'm kind of, it's kind of hard to believe. Holy shit. Just let me... Uh-huh. No! This would have been the one where Putt said, wow, this is getting harder. I'm- I'm f oh! Oh, I'm safe. Oh, here we go. No! Yes! Wow. That was clutch. Hey, there's a trampoline! It's these guys again. I thought I didn't have to see you again. I thought you were stuck in car world. Oh no, that's death. Whoa! Whoa! No! Mm. Give me in, Chief. You must. We must pogo to our best might, our best degree. Yeah, the one thing that was annoying about when I played Qbert was how you you have to make um make the the stage a certain color, and sometimes you know jumping over the same platform. You know, changes the, it to a different color. That always annoyed me. Still like that. Fuck. 
This is better than the last level they they were in, though. No. Okay, this is not the brute force. No, I was in the wrong position. Oh my god. Why did they decide to make this enemy so annoying? You have to think about that in the in the game design process of okay, we're gonna make an annoying enemy, or you know, why does each enemy act the way they do? Like, why did they decide that the wombat looking thing is the one that has the most destructive capability? There we go. Uh oh, I think I smell a skunk. Skunky again. All right, um, now we gotta hit this. Easy. Don't even care about that extra life. We, we just carry on through. I wonder what that button does. Leads me to the exit. At least we have to grab the stake. Oh, no, no, we won't. Okay. They gotta fall off, like, somewhere, right? No, actually, I think it's impossible. It's impossible for them to fall off. Good luck, Pep. Yeah, I think I think we've seen everything that the game has to offer except the, you know, the final tile set. It's a good thing there is one, because I'd be stuck here. Where does Putt-Putt go, even, when... When he, when he drops Pep off, he's like, okay, have, have fun, Pep. See, they fall off because they're dumb. I, however have a little bit more of a brain. Not much, but I have enough. The processor makes up for the other half. Look out for the rascally critters. I can never get the most out of the hot chocolate because I I have to move my cursor in time. You probably have to push that button. God, it's some it's a madhouse. Okay. Waiting. No. Okay, we got plenty of lives. Go get those bones. The pig is. We're gonna have to exploit the pig's jetpack. Like such. All right. Okay. Final fi final final file. Final tile set. What is it? 
castle. Oh, this is music straight from Travels Through Time. God damn it. Yeah, I remember this in the in There we go. Less time I have to spend with those little sh little fucks the better. Good luck. Is there going to be an epic boss fight at the end of this? I gotta jump in, I gotta jump in, like, crush a dragon's head or something. So, something like akin to a Catherine boss fight. Ice cream. Okay, we just need to get... That's death. Okay. Whoa. See, this is a this is a cool level. I have to think about how to get to the the spot I want. And I get there from here. Um Oh yeah, here we go. Epic. That was fun. Hmm, where's the exit? That's a lot of moving platforms. Oh wow, the exit is right there, and I could go up there for a lemon and a life. I'll pass. Whoa, this is getting harder. Yes, with five of these abominations. Oh. The thing that I feared happening happened. I wonder what that button does. Uh. I'm coming, Pep. Yeah, this this level's gonna be. This level's gonna be CBT. High probability of being CBT. Oh! I can kill them! This is wonderful news. Oh. I'm not gonna stay and kill them all, but that was good. That was literally the best outcome and discovery of that level. They're mortal. Yeah, you go you guys go ahead and hit the buttons for me. Oh, they got a sticky animation. There's the exit. Who hit that button? Go down there and hit that button. Okay, so there's the trampoline we gotta get to. He's gonna hit the button again. I just gotta wait for them to hit it. Well, there goes a the skunk. They lost one. 
am I just gonna go back and yeah, okay. They're they're moving they're moving too far away. Okay. Good? You gotta get into the goo. Nice! Alright, final stretch. Careful on those moving parts. Oh, really? I have to time the moving platform? <laughs> wow. That was... That went better than expected. Okay. Okay, this is easy. Now we just gotta get in position here. Good. Look before you leave, Pat. Okay, how are they moving here? Oh! Oh, this is Mega Man! I'm now in Mega Man. This is the disappearing platform segment. Except... Worse? Oh, wait. No, wait, no, it's not that bad. I have to do leaps of faith. Once again, they're they're designed good levels. Just I don't really want to compete for score. Okay, wait, wait, what do I do here? Oh, dun, dun, dun. Okay. Nice. All right, level 99. You probably have to push that button. And he only says push that button, but there's multiple. Okay. Okay, hit that one. Oh, there's one down here. Oh. That was my last life. Now watch it. Oh no, no, it wasn't. Oh, exit. Oh. Nice. All right, and big old level one hundred. Should we turn this on? What does this do? Level 100? Wowie zowie! <laughs> okay, it doesn't give any- it doesn't give Peppa... Peppa different effect. Gotcha! Look before you leave, Pep! Okay, yeah, I just have a bone next to my lives, which is just infinite lives. Kinda lame? Okay. 
Alright. There we go. That level taught me how to do that. Oh, ending cutscene. Wait up, Pep. Uh. Hot diggity. Really? A after all that, he just gets one bone. Dog on a stick. Well, there was that. <laughs> Oh, uh, that was... Well, that was what it was. It wasn't bad. Except for that wombat thing. Screw that wombat thing. Oh, there's Edward Pun. He's the... He's the guy who just is in every humongous entertainment game. Let me just put it on the list here. Put, put, and Pep's dog on a stick. I was gonna say, dog on a stick just sounds kind of weird. It's like cooking a dog. It's like, I think of like the gecko on a stick from Fallout. Weirdly. Which of course, don't want it. Don't don't eat dogs. <laughs> dialogue one writer. There's not even any dialogue with any other characters. David Nixon. Junior QA lead. Help file. They had a whole person for the help file? That's funny. There he is. Jason, not Danny. I, I, I keep thinking it's Danny because his last name reminds me of El... Elf... Elfman. There we go. Well... Do you wanna play again? No, I really don't. Okay, well thanks for playing. See you later, alligator. Up, oh, and it just quits the game. I doubt, um... I doubt, like, looking at, like, level editor would be anything cool. Yeah, there's, like, images of it here, here on Steam. It doesn't look like much. But, that was, um... That was, that was pretty nice to play. Finally getting to beat that as an adult feels kind of nice. But, yeah. I, 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 had, I had some fun with that. Huh. <sighs> but, I think for now, I'm gonna turn it in and go get myself some ice cream. Um, hope you guys have a great evening, evening too. And, uh, thank you for sticking through me with this little, uh, double feature. It's been a whole lot of fun. Keep it real.